What's up YouTube, Demonic from Midwinter back with another video. Today I got another CD collection video. Um, I finally got finished going through some stuff. Not a big stack, about 10, 15 CDs, I would say. Um, yeah, so let's get right into it. Um, starting off with some heavy power metal from Washington, D.C. This is A Sound of Thunder with their latest full length, The Crimson Cult. Holy shit, this is a fantastic album. Um, very, I'm, I'm trying to think who to... Who best describes these guys? I don't know, but it's fucking amazing. And Nina is a fucking is a fucking incredible vocalist. Oh my god! And um, I got this from the Kickstarter they did, so they signed it as well. Um, yeah, there it is. Friends of mine as well. So yeah, got can't wait to see them again. Hope play some stuff off of here. Um, give a ninety one point three eight percent. Um, probably favorite tracks for me would be, let's see, um, Grave Troopers, The Wizard of Crow Country, or Crow County, sorry, and Beach Murder Party. Um, yeah, but otherwise, fantastic stuff. Go check them out. I'll leave a link to this album in the description, if I can find one. Um, a link to the vid a video, um, but I'll, or I'll write it into the description. Um. Next up, we have some black metal out of Israel. Um, and this is Aralu with their 2002 full length, Satanic War in Jerusalem. I got this in the Metalhead box a little while ago. Finally got around to listening to it again and giving it a rating. Give it 91.42%. This version came out on, I, I, don't, I cannot even read what label it is, honestly. But Aralu is a black metal band from from Israel, and they they are so damn good. One of my favorite black metal bands out there. Um, yeah, holy shit! Can't wait. I would love to get to see these guys live. Hopefully, oh, and I can't wait for their new album. I think it drops next week or two. Maybe it's tomorrow. I don't remember. Actually, now nah, I'll do. It. I'll check later. Then uh, next up, some more friends of mine, Arsena. Thrash band from originally here in Baltimore. Now they're based in Delaware. Um, great band, great people. Um, I hate the the packaging on this, honestly, but whatever. Not nothing I can do about it. They're a local, a small band, so they're not able to pay for like great packaging, which I totally get. But I love the artwork on this album, and the riffs on here are fucking insane. Um, really, really high intensely thrash. It's called the album's called Blood Rusted Mother Earth. Um, given ninety point nine three percent, definitely will be on the year end list at the end of the year. Probably one of the better thrash releases I would say of the year. Um, definitely go check these guys out. Um, highly, highly recommend them. Um, <laughs> Moth Priest is definitely a great track. Kamaz Kazi Sun God as well, and Seeds of the Dead. Also Black Lung. Yeah, but holy shit, this album is so much fun to listen to. I'm, I'm gonna probably, I might even give it a listen after I'm d done with this video. Might have to. Next up, a CD I picked up last night when I went to see these as We got Bulldozer with The Day of Wrath. I, I'm so happy I got to see them live. Oh my God, one of the greatest shows of all time. Not as good as the one I saw on Tuesday, which was Merciful Fate, but Still, not a fantastic show. Um, this came out in... Let's see. What year did this album come out in? Well, this album came out originally in 1985. This is a 2021 reissue on Evil Invaders Records. So, yeah. Fucking amazing stuff. I love this album. It was so good to hear them play last night. See them play last night. Um, gave this a 91.16%. And yeah, I mean, fantastic songs off this album. Um, next up, some death metal out of New York, I believe. Cash Trader um, with Defiled in Oblivion. Um, yeah, some really solid death metal from Robin, more solid death metal from Robin Mason. Uh, gruesome, Jesus, uh, and Dorketa as well um this is a fantastic release from them came out earlier this year 
Um, it gave it a 91.65%. It came out on Dark Descent Records. And I I love the, these women. They are fucking incredible. The riffs they write, the everything. Um, probably top three tracks would be the Voices of Everado, um, Forsaken and Deprived, and Sinister Mind would probably be my three favorites. Also, Purge of the Rotten Ones. I mean, Cash Raider can do no wrong. I can't wait to see them as exhumed in a couple weeks. Um, next up, we got some more stuff from the Metalhead box. Some Death Rash, I believe. I f believe they're from Indiana. I don't remember where. Um, th but this is Invasion with Destroyer of Mankind. This came out on Best Records um, in... Let me see what year this came out in. Hold on. This came out in 2017. And it's pretty solid Death Rash. Uh, not my favorite thing in the world. I gave it a lower rating than the other rate releases I have in this pop, in these files. But it's still pretty good. I gave it an 81.61. Um, I, I, I'll probably end up going back to it at some point. Not yet. Um, I, maybe I wasn't, because maybe I wasn't in the mood for it at that time. I don't know. But it was pretty good. I will definitely go back to jamming it at some point, just not sure when. Um, another Metalhead Box CD. Last Wretch with Sadism and Severed Heads. Um, this came out on CDN Records this year. Um, I literally just got this in my most recent box, as you guys probably saw. Um, let's see. Gave it a 87.86%, so pretty solid as well. Um, again, not my favorite thing in the world. More death, wait, death metal, I believe. Wait, let me see. Last, West Wretch is a Canadian death metal band. Sounded to me more like brutal death metal, uh, but it was still pretty fucking good. I enjoyed it a decent amount. I'll go back to it again at some point. Probably when I'm going through my 2022 releases again. Um, yeah, again, solid stuff. More Metalhead Box stuff. Uh, this is um, Psychomancer with Shards of the Hourglass. This is a guy a couple months ago from the box, and they're another Indiana based um, Death Rash band, I believe. Solid stuff, I mean, not my favorite. It wasn't something I was in the mood for at that time. I would say, wait, were they, de I don't even remember what they were. I believe they were Death Rash. Psychomancer. Yeah, Death Rash. Okay, I couldn't remember. They're on Orchestrated Misery Recordings, a label. I have no idea anything. I don't know anything about that label. This came out in 2019, though, and it's solid. Um, of the most recent stuff from the Metalhead box, um, this was probably one of my favorites, I believe, but it was still not my favorite. Not a fantastic release. Yeah, I gave it an 89.79%. So, it didn't wow me like I would have wanted to, but it was still really good. Um, this next one wowed the fuck out of me. Every time I hear it, I'm going, it's going to go up in rating again. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, we got the new revocation with ne Nether Heaven. 91.82% um, rating. Came out on Metal Blade this year. And, I mean, it's fucking revocation. Dave Davidson is a fucking god. Um, yeah, one of the best releases of this year. I mean, I don't have to talk much about this album. You guys know what, Revo who, what Revocation sounds like. And if, you, and if you like Revocation, you probably love this fucking album already. Yeah, fantastic stuff. Just listen to it again on CD for the probably fifth or so time tonight. <laughs> um, earlier. Then, next up, we, we got Verminoff. With um, Primordial Tomb, this is a death metal band out of York, Pennsylvania. For good friends of mine, love these guys. Shout out to you guys, love you. Hope, um, can't wait to see you in a couple, in like a month or so. Um, but yeah, I got um, I picked this up at one of their shows a little while back, and I fucking love this stuff. They are fucking incredible death metal. Um, I gave this. Let me see, but I gave this. Verminoff, okay, 90.63, sorry, it takes me a while to find stuff on my spreadsheet, but, um, yeah, 90.63%, 
fucking incredible release of last year. It will probably, I, when I redo the 2021 year end list video, which might happen soon, I don't know yet. Um, this will be on the list for sure. Um, and then the final release is another new one from the Metalhead box. We got Worm Evocation of the Black Marsh. And, I mean, it's fucking Worm. It's going to be good. This is their debut full length, came out in 2017. This is a exclusive 2022 reissue from the Metalhead box. Gave it 91.95%. And, I mean, it's fucking Worm. I mean, Worm is an incredible fucking blackened funeral death doom band. This definitely leans more towards black metal. Still fucking incredible from this incredible band. But, um, yeah, that's all I got for this video. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and stay metal.